Hey guys, Tony Vanal here again, Las Vegas, and uh, this is going to be video number five on the 90 day challenge. And today I'm going to talk about belief. But before I do that, I want to show you guys uh, this room that I usually film in. I just have books pretty much on the ground here. Um, I got some pretty good ones here. I got Rich Dad Conspiracy of the Rich, Quiet Strength by Tony Dungy. Then I got all the uh, Robert Kiyosaki books right there that I've been following since 1996, 97. Um, I just got a little miscellaneous books here. Seth Godin, Tribes, that's a good one. Uh, the Art of Talking So That People Will Listen. You know. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, today I want to talk about belief because a lot of times that I have either new members coming into my uh, business or I, I mentor some people, you know, and we talk about going to events, it's like a lot of people sometimes won't commit to what they need to do to succeed, but they want the results. You know, a lot of people want to be rich, but they're not willing to do what it takes to be rich. Most people want to have all the time in the world, but they're not willing to do what it takes to have all the time in the world. And the truth is, is that you'd have more time in your life if you didn't have to worry about money. If you think about it, a lot of things that you don't have time for is because you got to go to work, or you got to do some other things that will that, that can you know put food on the table for the kids or for the family or or pay for your car and just kind of maintain your lifestyle right but if you didn't have to worry about money then maybe you probably do more of the things that you enjoy in life recreational things socializing things in life that doesn't have to necessarily be tied to making money to pay for this bill or that expense all right so belief is actually believing in yourself that you can do anything in life that you want to do it has nothing to do with any kind of limitations that that you have or that life has put on you throughout the years. It has nothing to do with the control that the world tries to put onto you because in reality and the truth is is that you were born with everything in your body, in your mind to do anything that you that you can that you want to do, to reach all the results that you want, to make anything happen no matter your age, no matter your background, no matter your gender. It you can do anything you want. And I know that sometimes life gets hard and you're tired of hearing all these positive things, which I have in the past. I'd be like, oh, this is just positive talk or, you know, it's just trying to brain brainwash me, you know. Well, the truth is that if you think that you don't need the brainwashing, you do need the brain flushing. Because you need to flush everything out that this world has overcome in your mind, you know, that has been taken over ever since you were a kid. And just kind of throw it away and only do the things in life that can help you move forward in life. So, um, so another thing about belief is that, you know, a lot of people when, when they say, when they start a new business or a new career or they uh, get involved in a, in a company. And, you know, one of the most important things that you can do is connect with the leaders, connect with the, the producers in the business. Whether you're an attorney, whether you're a doctor, whether you're... Um, in the work from home industry, you know, you want to connect with the people that are successful in your industry. And, and one way to do that is connecting to events and, and to conventions and learning the insides of what, what they're teaching from the leaders. All right. And a lot of times people, you know, want to make some results happen first before they do what it takes to make the results happen. For instance, a lot of people in the work from home industry are saying, no, I'm not going to go to this event because I haven't got any sales yet or I haven't sponsored anybody yet. And the truth is, is that what they're lacking is the things that they need to know are things that are told at these events. Things that, you, that only these events can give you into your mind, into your body. Things that you can learn so on an everyday basis when you get back from the convention, you can put into action and get the results that you're finally wanting. It's instilling the belief in yourself. A lot of, a lot of breakthroughs happen at conventions and meetings and masterminding. A lot of breakthroughs. And that's one thing that you're probably just lacking is one simple breakthrough. Because the difference between success and failure is just a thin line. It's a thin line between success and failure. There's only one little thing that's missing a lot of times from keeping you from success and keeping you... Um, you know, away from success into failure and all these obstacles and struggles that you've been struggling in life. So the one thing that you probably need to do is believe in yourself more than you do today. And, uh, and, I, and even myself, if you don't continually keep on um, feeding yourself positive information, success actions every day, and keep on feeding your brain things that it needs 
to, um, to be successful, then the world is going to take over your mind. And then your actions are going to be determined by what's in your mind. You hear me? So, you know, if you, if you want results, whether you're in a work from home industry or whatever business you're in, you need to plug in with the top producers, the successful people that are making it happen in your business. Because when you do, you're going to ha have this chain reaction. It's gonna, that, that whatever they have is going to come on to you. It's going to become you and your thoughts. And then, therefore, you'll bring it out in your actions. And next thing you know, <laughs> you'll be successful. And you'll think back and like, wow, it had nothing to do with really strategy. It had nothing to do with them being better than me. It all just had to do with me thinking that myself, I could do it. Myself, the mind is the most powerful thing, but it can also be the most dangerous thing. All right? So believe in yourself, my friend. Tony Benau here from Las Vegas. I'll talk soon.